Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. So, what I'm looking to uh, that's a, I'm going to bet on number nine. That was, I was going to say, I'm going to bet on the manipulated or odd looking ball maneuvers. I've got £30, which is not much. But I'm going to bet on nine by two. So, I'm looking at how the ball interacts with the wheel, how it settles in the pocket, and that nine was an obvious pick for me to place a bet on. I'm going to go through quite a few different tables with this small bank roll. It's going to cost me. Ten pound because I'm going to give it five bets at two uh, two fifty. In fact, it's not going to cost me that. It's going to cost me twelve pound fifty if I lose. But I'm on nine by two. This is my first bet. So what I'm expecting to see from this table is the neighbour of nine popping right back in any minute. Look at that nine to ten is my combo. This table's doing my combos at the minute. Let me just have a quick look. 26, 18, no, I would have missed on that. 18, 34 would have been a hit. 34, 20, that would have been a miss, I think. 24, uh, 20 to 8, that's a miss. 8 to 15, that's a miss. 15, 17, 17, 28. There's only one combo, 0, 9, 9, 10. And that, uh, 18, 34, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, so this is my third bet, looking for 9 by 2 And then if I get a hit on this table doing this, I'm going to switch tables. I'm going to pick another table out. I'm going to wait for a spin that looks a little bit odd looking. And then I'm going to bet on that number for 5 spins. I've only got a small bankroll, so I, don't, I haven't got a big enough bankroll to support this type of bet if I lose too many times. This is my third bet, we're looking for 9 by 2 So 18 through to 14. Anywhere near 9 is good. Not quite. Now this is my fourth bet coming up. So I usually hit within five on this setup. When it's playing. When it's in my favour. Unless the casino's on the c collect, which in that case I'll be um I'll have no chance. But we'll see. So this is the odd looking spin selection method, which is what I'm using with cash. For the £30 start. And this is my fourth bet for number nine. And that's one off, which is a little bit frustrating because that's one away from a hit. <sighs> Fifth bet, final bet. It cost me £12.50 for this if I lose. So I'll we'll switch tables and hopefully I'll hit on my first spin on my next table that I play. And I'll get slightly into profit. So we're looking for 9 by 2. If it was 18, that would have been a hit. That was one away from a hit. This is the fifth and final bet. Come on, number 9. Nope, went on too far. So that was a fail. So I'm going to change tables. And we're going to try and get another table to hit. Or find another table to um, pick out a spin for me to win on. Let's try this one. So I'm looking at how the ball interacts with the wheel when it settles in the pocket. And if it looks odd, that's my selection. That was alright. So I've only got 1750 left. Now, it's going to cost me 1250 if I lose all five spins. So that's not good. Uh, so you need a bigger bankroll to support this type of bet on a 50p stake. Unless you hit early on basically. So I'm just waiting for a few spins from this dealer just to see what it does. Right, that's a pick, 25. That's an obvious pick for me because of the way that it bounced too many times to get to that position and how it settled in the pocket. That was a, The clues were there, so... That number 9 was also one on the previous table, but <clears throat> it might have dropped in on the 6th spin and it was one pocket away as well, so, so I got pretty close to it, but... 
not close enough. Anyways, 25 by 2, 34 to 21. There you go, there's my hit. First spin win on that one. That puts me into profit by £3. I'm going to change tables. I'm going to pick another table to play and um, try and get another spin. Let's have a quick look. Try the American one. I didn't really see that land. So I'll have to watch a few more spins on this. So I'm only starting with £30. I'm £3 up at the minute. And I'm showing you how you can look at how the ball lands in a pocket. You bet on that number by two for five spins on a flat rate in order to try and get that hit. Now, if you lose five spins in a row, it's, it's going to cost £12.50 or €12.50 or $12.50. Let's see what this ball does in this uh, wheel. That was all right. So that slammed it right down, and he didn't. It didn't come back out of the pocket, which most of them do. So <clears throat> I find that a bit interesting. I think that should have moved out of the pocket. But it didn't do so. We'll just see what happens now. Let's see if there's anywhere near number two. Uh, not two, 35. But let's see what the ball does. That's alright. Nothing wrong with that. So this table's quite a sp slow spinning wheel. And the ball, when it rides up the centre spindle, um, the centre point of the wheel, and rolls down, it's hitting the back of the plate of the wheel, but it's not bouncing enough out of it to get to another position. It's not done that yet, which is uncommon, uncommon, not common at all. Usually it does that quite often. So either the ball's a bit lighter weighted, or heavy weighted or something, I'm not too sure what's going on with that, but right, there you go, there's my pick, 21. It was in 16, moved it out to 21. So 21's the pick. Wherever it is. So 21 by 2. That's 18 to 16. That's my um Odd looking spin selection process. So 21's the pick with two pockets either side for five spins on a flat rate. That's going to go into that region again because of how it got there. Hopefully within five spins. So that jogging on too far to 17, that would be another suspect number. But I'm going to stick with the 21 because that was a bit more of an obvious one for me so repeat the bet same stake second bet out of five trying to hit on 21 by two odd looking spin selection method just covering five numbers that's it making a single number selection based on how the ball interacts with the wheel this is my second spin So that where it pushed it back to 24 watch out for that one that's been out three times at 24 that was a kind of a clue in the history there as well and it's just dropped in again so that would be a clue for that uh, repeat the bet third bet now third bet same stake 21 by 2 Come on, number 21. Your time's up. It nearly was. That's 12, that. 
So it hit the region, went to 12. That's good news. So repeat the bet. Fourth bet. I want to be hitting within five, ideally. I could give it an extra spin for the sixth bet and still get into profit, even if I hit on that. But typically, it comes within five. So I'll give it five and move on. My fourth bet for 21 by 2. And that'll do. There's my hit. Number 33. So that took four spins. I'm now at £41. Happy days. That took four spins. Go back to the lobby. Change tables. And repeat the process. Do you not make tables today? What's going on? Why are there not many tables here? Uh, let's have a quick look. Um, let's try. Let's try this one. I'll make this my last table because there's not that many tables here. May as well make it my last one. See how this one operates. Shouldn't be being on the table. Let's see how this ball operates in this wheel. Right, that's a pick number thirty. Thirty is the pick because it landed in eleven, and then it was an exaggerated push out of the pocket of 11 to get to number 30. So 30 by 2 is the bet. And typically, 11 and, numbers around 8, 11 and 30. Well, 30, the 8 and the 11 all give you numbers. It goes back close to those numbers. Normally on every table that I've seen, it normally goes back to that range anyway. So this could be a hit straight away. But I'm on 30 by 2. Uh, it's 23 to 36. That's a miss. So it might come back to it if I'm lucky. Repeat the same bet. This is my final setup, but I'm just demonstrating. This is a short demonstration of how you can pick numbers based on purely how the ball drops in the wheel. Anything odd looking of how a ball settles, that's how you make your selection. And I did this on 20 tables on the Evolution Gaming tables. Um, live on kick yesterday so if you go to kick.com forward slash roulette profit stop and look at my latest video you'll be able to see i was on it for about an hour did 20 tables i went through every table picking the numbers um yeah 15. so this one sort of doesn't really do much movement other than hit the number and stop or hit and move it out to the next one that's what i'm seeing this is my third bet third of five i just want to get this one to hit hopefully it will and then i can uh, move on so i'm on 30 by 2 23 to 36 23 to 36, 23, 8, 30, 11, 36. Ta-da! There you go. There's my hit. That's up with three spins. And I'm at 51.50. Started with 30. So I'm at £21.50. So that is me done. Thanks for tuning in. I've just demonstrated how I use the, um, the where the ball drops into a pocket physics of the ball dropping into a pocket in an odd manner to make my selections to place bets i won on every i lost on my first table one on all the rest and i generated profit thanks for tuning in do not forget to check out my website rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk for any of my roulette tools and also hit the subscribe and give it a thumbs up thanks very much for your support i'll be back again with more content soon see you again soon